This is Qasam, a homemade Palestinian rocket with an estimated cost of around $800, and Hamas have been firing them at Israel for several decades now. Usually, Israel's missile defense system, also known as Iron Dome, manages to shoot them down before they reach their target. Like in this video, with the success rate of 97%, but on October 7th, that's not what happened. Hamas launched an estimated 5,000 rockets in 20 minutes, and the Iron Dome couldn't keep up. This kind of attack requires a lot of money, and with 80% of people in Gaza living below the poverty line, the question is, how does Hamas get its money and how do we stop it? Hamas is believed to have an investment portfolio of real estate and other assets worth $500 million and an annual military budget of as much as $350 million. There are countries in the world whose military budget is lower. According to officials at the Treasury and State Departments, Iran is the major funding source for Hamas. It shouldn't come as a surprise, knowing that the Iranian government seeks Israel's complete destruction. Since the 1990s, Iran has consistently supported Hamas, both financially and militarily, even before Hamas took control of Gaza. The financial support has grown over time and is currently believed to be around $100 million per year. The terrorists also received funding from other ideological allies, including private donors and groups in Turkey, Kuwait, or Malaysia. The U.S. federal court documents and government evaluations also revealed that Hamas even had donors in the U.S. It is estimated that over $12 million were channeled to Hamas from the states in the period of 1995 to 2001. Over the past few years, the global community has channeled billions of dollars in assistance to the Gaza Strip to support the over 2 million Palestinians residing in the isolated territory governed by Hamas. From 2014 to 2020, UN agencies alone spent nearly $4.5 billion in Gaza. Qatar has also provided $1.3 billion in aid to Gaza since 2012 for construction, health services, and agriculture under an arrangement with the U.S. and Israel. In 2021, Israel and Qatar agreed that Qatari money would be distributed through the U.N. at supermarkets, money exchange shops, post offices, and other locations in Gaza. Before that, Qatari officials were just carrying millions of dollars in cash in suitcases into Gaza with the permission of the Israeli government. There have been concerns and allegations that Hamas might be diverting some of this aid for its own purposes, although Qatar says the money has been used for its intended purposes to help people in need. But Naomi Newman, former head of research for Shin Bet, Israel's internal security service, says otherwise. All the funds that were supposed to go to the public, most of it went to their military capability, she recently stated for NBC News. Hamas, as the governing entity in the Gaza Strip, has established a system of taxation on various goods and services. Hamas began collecting taxes from wages, sales, and smuggling activities. Matthew Levitt, a former counterterrorism intelligence analyst at the Federal Bureau of Investigation, told Business Insider this, any business, any aid, humanitarian aid, the truck after truck after truck that would come in on a daily basis from Israel into Gaza could all be taxed and extorted. It is believed that through this method of funding, Hamas could be making around $400 million annually. Hamas possesses global real estate and other investments, even with international restrictions in place. The terrorists have an investment portfolio of about half a billion dollars in real estate and other assets from companies in Algeria, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates. Hamas also uses cryptocurrency to hide and launder their money. How can this funding be stopped? The U.S. is trying a combination of diplomatic engagements, financial sanctions, and monitoring transactions to curb the funding of Hamas. But as you probably can guess, it's not that easy. And war is expensive, so the terrorists will still be looking for ways to gain money under any circumstances. 